Good day. I am Uyade Deborah Motayo, a virtual intern at Alem Solicitors and a 400 level of student at Olabisi Novandra University. I'll be discussing the topic eligibility of works and conditions for copyright protection in Nigeria. But before I delve into the topic, I would like to give a background to what copyright is. Copyright is a branch of intellectual property. An intellectual property is a broad term that is used to describe the works, the creations of the mind or intellect that can be protected by law and also eligible for commercial expectation and goodwill. Copyright is a set of exclusive legal rights granted by the law of a jurisdiction to the creator or the author of an original work and it includes the right to reproduce the work, to copy the work or to adapt the work. Copyright is also a form of protection granted to someone who is the creator of an original work of authorship in a literary or artistic material, a song or a movie for a fixed number of years. The essence of copyright is the protection of the intellectual property of a person and also to stop the work from being sold or reproduced by unauthorized persons. The law governing copyright protection in Nigeria is the Copyright Act, Cap C28, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004. Under this act, certain works are listed as eligible for copyright protection in Nigeria. Section 1, subsection 1 of the act has the list of six works, which are literary works, musical works, artistic works, cinematograph films, sound recordings, and broadcasts. Any work that does not fall into any of those six categories of work will not be eligible for copyright protection. Section 51 of the Act, which is the interpretation section of the Act, further clarifies these works. Literary work include any of the following works irrespective of the literary quality. There's books, novels, stories, dictionaries, articles, essays, lecture notes, and so on. Artistic work include any of the following, irrespective of the artistic quality. Paintings, drawings, prints, graphs, maps, and so on. Musical works include any musical work, irrespective of the musical quality, and also include work composed to be used as musical accompaniment. Cinematograph film include the first fixation of a sequence of visual images which is capable of being produced as a moving picture and also of being reproduced. It also includes a recording of a soundtrack associated with a cinematograph film. Sound recordings include the first fixation of a sequence of sound that is capable of being perceived orally and also of being reproduced, but it does not include the recording of a sound track associated with a cinematograph film. Broadcast includes sound or television broadcast made by wireless or wire telegraph or both, or made by cable programs or satellite programs, and it also includes rebroadcast. Like I said earlier, any work that does not fall into any of the six categories of work will not be eligible for copyright protection in Nigeria. The Act further gives some conditions that has to be met by these works for it to be protected under copyright. Section 1, subsection 2a gives the requirements of originality. Originality does not mean that the work has to be new or it has never been in existence before but it means that the work must originate from the author. It must be an effort of independent creation and creativity. In the case of ICIC Dictionaries Publishers and Eco Delta, the Federal High Court denied the plaintiff's claim to copyright in a particular work because the work was copied from another person. In that case, the court held that a copyist do not enjoy copyright. Section 1, subsection 2b of the Copyright Act gives another condition, which is the requirement of fixation. For a literary, a musical, or an artistic work to enjoy copyright protection, it has to be reduced into a fixed medium.
copyright does not protect an idea. What copyright protects is the expression of the idea. So for a work to enjoy copyright protection, it has to be reduced into a permanent, a physical or a material form. Also, section two of the act provides the condition of connection. For a work to enjoy copyright protection, it has to have some form of connection with Nigeria. This connection might be by virtue of the status of the author or the place of forced publication or whether the work was made under the direction or control of a government or a legislative body or whether it was made with respect to a treaty agreement. Under section 2H of the Act, it provides that for a work to enjoy copyright protection, the author, or in the case of joint authorship, any one of the authors must be a qualified person, that is, the person must be a citizen of Nigeria or be domiciled in Nigeria. Where the author of the work is a corporate body, the body has to be established under any of the laws in Nigeria. Under Section 3 of the Act, there is a provision that for a work to enjoy copyright protection, it has to be first published in Nigeria. Also, if it's in the case of a cinematography or a sound recording, the recording has to be first made in Nigeria. Under Section 4 of the Act, where a work is made under the control or the direction of a government body or a state authority or an international body, then it enjoys copyright protection. Section 5 subsection 1a further gives a condition which is to the effect that where the author of a work or any of the authors in the case of joint authorship or in the case of a body corporate is domiciled or is a citizen or is established under a, in a country that is a party to an obligation in a treaty or an international agreement to which Nigeria is also a party, then the work also enjoys copyright protection. In conclusion, for a work to be eligible for copyright protection in Nigeria, it has to be either a literary work, a musical work, an artistic work, a cinematograph film, a sound recording, or a broadcast. Any work outside any of those six works will not enjoy copyright protection in Nigeria. Also, these works must meet the requirements of originality, fixation, and connection. I hope with this you've been able to gain insight into the works that are eligible for copyright protection in Nigeria and also the conditions that has to be fulfilled for these works to be protected. To learn more, visit www.halemsolicitors.com and also follow Alem Solicitors on LinkedIn at Alem Solicitors. Thank you for listening.